Diet food has a bad reputation for being bland and boring. But here's the thing. I never want you to feel deprived or bored by the things you eat. I just want you to eat foods that help you live a long and healthy life. So today, I want to share a few delicious, healthy ways to spice up your favorite foods, all of which are easy, flavorful, and lectin light. First is one of my favorite condiments of all time, pesto. If you're a regular follower on my YouTube channel or newsletter, you know I cook with a lot of pesto. That's because it's a great combination of the healthiest foods on the planet. Garlic, basil, pine nuts, and of course, olive oil. And it's not just a pasta sauce. I've mixed it with balsamic vinegar to make a delicious salad dressing, used it as a marinade for veggies and seafood, or on its own as a dip. I've even whisked it into eggs to flavor an omelet or a scramble. Now, if you want to make it yourself, there's a video here on my YouTube page. But if you don't have time, Costco and even Trader Joe's both make great pesto. They're great for your digestive health and high in prebiotic fiber. Second, garlic and onions. They're great for your digestive health and high in prebiotic fiber. And most of all, they're delicious. Nothing smells as comforting as an onion cooking in olive oil. In fact, my favorite way to start any meal is cooking up some garlic and onions in plenty of olive oil. They're flavorful and they're versatile. If you find a dish lacking a punch, try thinly sliced raw onions. Personally, I love red onions. And if you're missing some sweetness, cook those down until they're caramelized to bring out the natural sugars. Up third, we've got vinegar, especially balsamic vinegar. Vinegars and other acidic foods are a great way to trick your taste buds if you find yourself craving salt. And they're a delicious way to brighten up any dish, especially vegetable dishes. Try roasted broccoli with a drizzle of balsamic vinegar or a sprinkle of red wine vinegar over greens cooked with garlic. You can even use balsamic vinegar drizzled over in-season fruit like peaches or berries for a flavorful dessert. Just remember, treat fruit like candy. It's high in sugar. Next up, fermented vegetables like kimchi and sauerkraut and pickled plant paradox friendly veggies like asparagus. How about some fennel? Add kimchi to an omelet to really spice things up. Finally, let's talk about hot sauce. Yes, it's made of peppers, but that doesn't mean it's loaded in lectins. In fact, most high quality hot sauce is pretty lectin light. So how does that work? It's the fermentation again. It destroys the lectins in peppers. Plus, most sauces have the skin and seeds of the peppers removed before bottling. So, go ahead and use your favorite hot sauce as much as you'd like. Just make sure you pick a brand that's low in sugar, high in flavor, so that a little goes a long way. And remember, bland, boring food is never okay. That's why I took so much care to develop flavorful, interesting recipes for the plant paradox and for my subscribers. And it's the reason I created this video in the first place. I want you to have fun with your meals and to live a long, healthy life because of the things you eat. Because I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you. Thanks for watching. Click the circular channel icon to subscribe and make sure you don't miss a single video. Click on the left to watch another great video. And don't forget to visit my website for more of my best tips. Because I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you.